Hi, I'm Dr. Tabitha Samir of Mirror Skin Dermatology. I get questions about chemical peels versus facials versus microdermabrasion. This is one of the most common questions I get. A lot of people call my office and they say things like, do you perform facials? So I really wanted to break down the difference because I think it's really important. They are three totally different things and they work on totally different issues and they're meant for completely different things. So I really wanted to break that down for you and hopefully get that out there so you'll understand what it is that you're asking for when you walk into a spa versus a doctor's office. Let's talk about facials first. Facials are really great for cleansing, for relaxation, almost like a massage. I kind of tell people a facial feels like a really good deep cleansing for the face. It feels comforting, it's massaging, it's deep cleansing, and that is the extent of it. They do include extractions with facials, and I'm gonna talk about how I feel about extractions, but a facial is meant to be a deep, cleaning, spa-like experience. Microdermabrasion is where they use fine particles that actually go in and abrade the surface of your skin. They can be very cleansing and very abrasive. Microdermabrasion helps your skin feel really, really smooth, really soft. You can probably see and feel an immediate difference, but microdermabrasion only works on the most superficial layers of the skin, and it's great for a quick pick-me-up. And chemical peels are where they use a solution, whether it's glycolic, salicylic, and various others, on the skin. I personally am a huge fan of chemical peels. Personally, on my own skin, that's what I do. And it helps with every single kind of skincare issue you can imagine from hyperpigmentation, acne, acne scars, discolored skin, sun damage, fine lines and wrinkles. I am not a fan of extractions. I just think that when you are um, using that sort of pressure on your skin, for fairer skin individuals, it can contribute to broken capillaries and red spots. And for darker skin individual, it can actually contribute to hyperpigmentation. Also, there's a retrograde reaction where when you're pressing on something with an extraction, all of the debris that you're trying to remove are, is actually turning around and going back into the pore. So for these reasons, I'm really not a fan of the extraction, and I do not believe it's a good thing for you to do. I know that they try and implement it when you have enlarged or congested pores, but there are better ways to treat that other than an extraction. These are some basic tips about each of the three. As I said, I'm a fan of the chemical peel for every single type of skin problem, and I think facials are great when you want a smoothening, more relaxing, cleansing experience. I really hope that this helps you out. I'm Dr. Tabitha Samir of Mirror Skin Dermatology.